Ever fancied painting Tom Bombadil? Well, here's my little painting tutorial. I started on his trousers because they're the deepest, darkest place on the model. I used a very simple layer of Adeptus Battle Grey. Then, using Bestial Brown, I paint a solid layer on his leather jerkin. Now, he's famous for his yellow wellies, so let's get started on them. A nice layer of Yandan Darkson will do the trick. Back to the leather jacket we go for a wash of Devlan mud. And then the yellow booties get a wash of Griffin sepia. That leather jacket looks a little dull after its shading, so back to that with some bestial brown. Carefully highlight the raised surfaces, leaving the folds and seam down the middle shaded. Then I went straight to the boot highlight. I mixed some white with sunburst yellow to make it a little paler and not so bright. Then I highlighted the boots, leaving a little in the shade. A touch more highlighting for the jerkin, I used a 50-50 mix with vermin and bestial brown. Just edge the squares of the jacket off and highlight the extreme edges of the folds. Now I've gone back to the trousers for another wash, a shading of Badab Black. Onto that fine beard and hair of his, scorched brown and black mixed together makes a good base coat and then I dry brush it with scorched brown. Continuing on the hair, a final dry brush with Gothor Brown. Now onto that lovely face and skin of his. I use Talon Flesh for that and of course on his hands as well. I decided the hat should match the jacket but I went lighter with Vermin Brown as a base coat. Then straight on to snakebite leather as a highlight. Now where are Gondor's armies? Up Gondor's sleeveys, which we paint Calthor brown. And give the sleeveys a highlight with graveyard earth. Shading the skin is as easy as a dab of Reichland flesh shade which I also use to shade the hat. Old Tom just won't look right without his blue jacket, so I start with a base coat of Necron Abyss. I also base the feather in his hat in the same colour. To highlight the jacket, I mix Enchanted Blue and Necron Abyss. Now let's give the hat a shine. I washed it with Baal Red to differentiate the brown from the jerkin of his. Now back to the face and hands, uh, we reset the skin tone with Talon Flesh after the shading before painting his belt with a bit of Bolt Gun Metal. There are plenty of earthy tones on the model already, so I went with a grey belt and hat strap in Adeptus Battle Grey. Back to the jacket, I use Lightning Bolt Blue to highlight that and the feather in his hat. Just add white for a second highlight on the feather. Now
Now, on to the tricky part, the eyes. White, of course, and black, uh, plus neatening up with Talon Flesh. I never get it right the first time. Then highlights for the skin with Elf Flesh. Now, I thought Tom, the jelly fellow he is, deserved rosy cheeks, so I gave him Mechrite Red dabs on his cheek. Watered down slightly so it's not too thick. Now, for the base, I used Bestial Brown Dry Brushed with Graveyard Earth and dabs of PVA glue with Flock sprinkled on there. You could just leave it there, but I decided I really wanted to make Tom Bombadil's base stand out. So I used a few bits of paintbrush bristles, or you could use toothbrush bristles, and then using tiny squares of paper, I made some poppies for the base. I thought red poppies perfectly fit Bombadil's peaceful nature. And there you have it, Tom Bombadil. If you like the video, please do like, comment and subscribe, and I'll do some more painting tutorials eventually. But in the meantime, here are three of my previous videos if you haven't already seen them. Thanks for watching.